good afternoon. I, um, I wasn't prepared for uh, on a speech. I didn't know that I had to talk today here. <laughs> and it's my first time speaking to a crowd this big. So I, uh, is any good to come just uh, be nice with me. <laughs> okay, um, I was drafted in 1967 to the UMAP, UMAP, but they changed the name and they call it special draft. Special draft, maybe you would think, well, these people are special though, so they're gonna have privilege. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. They collect for the whole uh, Havana province. All the youth, all the young per person that wasn't either, uh, the, their fathers wasn't revolutionaries, or they are, they were on jail for uh, any common criminal activities like robberies or assaults and stuff like that. And they collected all under a draft that they did on May 29, 1967. The regular draft supposed to be between May 25th, I mean, I'm sorry, May 15th and the, through the 25th. So when the 25th comes and I saw that I wasn't called, ah, I was so, oh God, ah. But 27 of May came the guy with a telegram to my house. So it was like a bucket of water, cold water over you, you know. You say, oh, I thought that it was, you know, safe for a moment. You know? But they dropped me, and uh, I was in the same places that Emilio was, came away, doing the same jobs, all cutting, you know, cut, uh, cane to make sugar, all agricultural labels that I was a Havana kid that I didn't know, and all my uh, other uh, fellows there, uh, the same thing. They try to masquerade what the Umad <coughs> got because they, at the beginning, the communist uh, regime was trying to, to be, show to the world, to the rest of the world, that they were good, that the revolution was, you know, a wonderful thing. So when the a scandal of Umad rise, they tried to say, oh, we had to take this Umad uh, out of here. So what they did with us, they, they dress us up uh, green, like uh, the army, regular army. They give us uh, 61 days of, uh, the first 61 days they give you like a, a military training of uh, um, infantry. They teach us all the military laws um, that say if you do this or you do that, you're gonna have 10 to 20 years in prison or uh, or you will be um, executed. So that way we know that if we do this, oh, we cannot do that because you're gonna get uh, prison. And after, and, and they always emphasize, after you accomplish your prison or time, then you have to go through the military service and serve you three years. Like let's say they draft you today and you just run away. You are a desertor. Desertor, right? Desertor? Desertor. So uh, you're punished for being in the sector. You go to jail for five years. After you finish your five years, then you go to the three years military mandatory service. It's not like uh, in other countries, for example here, if you are spelled from the uh, armed force, you are spelled as a dishonor spell. You, know, you don't have to serve anymore. Over there, no, they say. You go to jail and then you have to serve. But serving as a slave, working in the camps, in the fields, agricultural work, we never saw an, a regular army um, unit. We never saw what it was uh, a rifle, a cannon, uh, nothing. They all did teach us to, to you know, salute, uh, laws, and work on the fields. They might masquerade that. 
they later on they were um, they went further and create the Brigada Juvenil del Centenario in 1968 and told us you know what guys you don't have to um, be working on the fields and and keep that military you know discipline you're just gonna get dressed like a civil person you know and you're gonna work but you have to cover your three years so in that case they like I say oh how good this guy are you know they give you a relief or something but you still being a slave, working on all those kilo siete, kilo nueve, all those uh, uh, come away uh, fields. And then the, at the end of my three years, I spent it in Jovellanos in the uh, Matanzas uh, province. And that's about it. It's a part of maybe uh, some people don't know. Um, because most people know Umad as Umad, really Umad, but mine wasn't Umad without Umad. That was the same thing. And after then, they keep on all the people in the schools going to Escuela al Campo, what they call it. So the student has to pay for the, what they say is free education. It's free education, no free. And uh, as I began, as I began, I wasn't prepared for the speech, and I will uh, thanks to everybody, and especially for the uh, Pedro Pan for inviting us today here, and have a, a nice afternoon. Thank you.